Get it while it's hot. The dude mung is 3,000. What do you want from me? No more, kid. Dude and do that. This is your boy Duke Mungus. We are back today. We're installing the Dino Jet Power Commander 5. Uh, so the Dino Tune that I'm getting from Kaler Made, they unlock the ECU and then they tune fine tune okay. with the Dino Jet. Now um, Evan from EJR uses Woolish with his street tune, and it's just straight the street tune, no PC5. But until I can get to Evan, it's gonna be the best. So we're gonna go ahead and rock it out. I'm going to get this installed because in a few days they will have the bat and they will be doing a full yeet dyno tune, uh, ECU flash and dyno tune on this bike. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty dig, I'm excited. But um, anyway, I'm going to get to this process, get to installing. This really shouldn't be too bad. All right, per the instructions, I really didn't want to have to take off the tail section, but there's really no way to avoid it. So we got to get the tail section off. If you need to know how to get the tail section off, I did it in the video where I installed the rear uh tail light but um let's go ahead and get that off and then we'll jump into how we're going to install and route the power commander all right so it wants me to get to the ecu so i think i'm gonna disconnect the battery to uh i think i'm gonna disconnect the battery to do this just to make sure all right battery disconnected we should be good to go now uh plastic part above the ecu so this piece right here wants me to take out which looks like it's just two looks like it's just two Phillips use the posi tap on the PC5 gray wire to go to the blue and red wire on the ECU all right ECU's out let's try to find this wire that they're looking for yep so the blue and red wire you guys want to look for you got the top of the connector it's literally going to be on the bottom of the connector is this blue and red wire that you're looking for and you're going to posi tap into that i don't even know if i can get the camera over here to show you guys what it is but literally on the bottom of this you're going to use this posi tap um so what i'm going to do they already kind of cut it for you so we're going to pull that end off and i believe it's going to be the gray end nope not the gray end it's going to be the red end unscrew the red end you're going to push the gray end into this red end not all the way but most of the way so there's a little thread showing through and then you're just gonna screw this down all right so now that's on there not coming off and with the posi tap i know it's hard to see but let me get my light uh, and hopefully this shows up on camera there's this little uh point here you're gonna put the red and blue wire through this slit. Hopefully it shows on camera. You're gonna put it through this slit and then you're just gonna screw it down. All right, so since that's done, let's go ahead and get the power commander in place-ish. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get everything else connected back up. So it kind of wants us to just continue to come across the right side. Uh, they want us to undo this so we can get the power commander wires under here. Cause I don't think they'll fit otherwise. This is the gear position sensor right here. It wants us to unplug it. And we're gonna plug something in line with it. Woo, you can tell this is a new connect. They don't like the budge. So. This is the power commander five ground wire. They want us to secure it on the engine somewhere. But we're just gonna pull one of the small bolts off the top of the engine and secure it to uh, secure it down there. All right, got the ground attached. What are we doing next? All right, crank position sensor. These are gonna go where the crank position sensor is. I just gotta locate it. Oh. See the fuel injectors, those are easy, but where's this crank position sensor? All right, can 
connectors unplugged. Whew, I have plugged these in. I can tell you what, this is one reason I appreciate just the ECU flash and you're done. Whew, this is some work. It's not horrible, but it, it is definitely some work. Yep, now it's time for the fuel injectors. Number one cylinder is orange, number two is yellow, number three is green, number four is blue. I do stuff like this, one for the experience, uh, two to save myself some money, but three, I also try to make it uh, as convenient on the shop as possible. So this way, all I have to get my, do is get my bike and start tuning. Here we go. So thing said, cylinder one is orange. So I'm gonna you look for the orange wire and this will be cylinder one. Reconnect the battery and just double check everything works. So let me get that going. I'll probably do the battery and the tank and then I'll just fire it up just to make sure everything is working. So let me get that back on and I'll be right back. All right, dude, and do that. Everything is connected back. It is 2.30 in the morning. Um, I don't want to wake anybody, but I'm not for sure if any lights or anything are supposed to come on with this power commander. Uh, so we're just gonna cut the key on and see what happens. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen that, but there's lights were flashing on that. I'm assuming that means we're good. All right, got everything plugged up. Power Commander lights up, does it stuck dizzle. Everything on the screen seems okay. Let's give it a start. Make sure she still starts. Or he still starts. Um, but anyway, dude, and do that. That's how you connect a Power Commander PC5 to a 2022 GSXR 1000R. Um, Hopefully this was helpful. I'm gonna get this button back up and I'm done for the night. Done, I'm done. But anyway, man, I appreciate y'all rocking with me. You know who it is. It's your boy, Dumongus. No, I can't suck water. Thank you for watching, dude. No, I can't. No, I can't. Thank you for watching, dude. No, I can't.